Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. Let's go. Oh, Son of a biznatch. You You're better win machine. this turn. Thank you, may I have another? <laughs> Second main phase. All of you Beware are good at magic. Man. Let's go. The chef can poison your food. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I Hate Your Deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up, everyone? It's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck, and here we are for more spicy episodes. Let's go. Raymond is coming back, a returning patron. <gasps> I said it once, I just want to win one game. Me and David have the same win-loss column right about now, and I can't have that on my resume. Sky, our hot sauce maker extraordinaire. I have my wife joining Aww. us once more. Chrissy rocks, she's our friend. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Lynch, Lynch's wife. Aww. I'm here to play some magic with Mike and his friend. Cool. And my friends. Wait. We're not your friends? I'm just kidding. Oh, We're all friends. I love playing paper magic with my friends. So this is, let's talk about the pregame Rule Zero conversation. I'm interested in playing Kells, Fight Fixer, a Warlock, Menace. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay Demir. If you do, draw a card. I can also pay one, sacrifice a creature. Kells gains indestructible time to turn. Okay. It's two black black for a four or three. <laughs> Has the mono black aristocracy fun, but then has some of the blue card draw fun like Rhystic Study, Mr. Grimora, and some counter magic. So Demir Control. It's a fun deck, there are tutors in it. Some fast mana, yes. Last time I played, this is, so this is Guillaume Master Chef. I'll read it first. It's two colorless, a black and a green for a legendary creature troll warlock, five three with trample. At the beginning of my end step, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of non-token creatures I had entered the battlefield under my control this turn. And it does see itself. So when that happens, don't be concerned. And then I can pay one colorless and sack of food. Target creature gets indestructible intent until end of turn and I can tap it. When you're excited to attack something and he's like, it's tap. <laughs> good, good. Can you bootleg your stash to us? I'm gonna stay under the radar, hopefully a little bit more. Game plan is sort of similar to Lynch's where I'm trying to make things and then sacrifice them. I'm trying to make a lot of food tokens. There's a couple tutors in here, nothing crazy. There's no Jewel Lotus, I have Soul Ring. The usual offenders as well. I good am dog. bringing back Kalia of the Vest. She is a colorless mountain, plains, and a swamp. Legendary creature, moon cleric. 2-2, two, two, flying. Whenever Kali of the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking that opponent. Crazy. I do have some dual lands, this doesn't really but there's an Armageddon, her. and there's yeah. Masters of Cruelty. I mean, Kalia does Kalia things. You just get her out and smack people in the face if you that. can, and I that's what that. you hope for. She can't cool. blow up all your lands. Because she's running Avacyn, or yes. just for fun? For Avacyn. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And for fun. <laughs> <laughs> don't like her when she's angry. Your wife, happy life. Kalia does Kalia things, where she drops some big monster creatures, and you come out swinging, and Hopefully just start eliminating. Mardu murders. Mardu murders. Murder, murder, murder. Cool, murder, I respect murder, it. You. I am bringing back Narset Enlightened Master. I love this commander. I love the Jeskai colors. I love that she's a monk. She just has a stick, but she just like hits you so hard with her stick. Make Narset fun again. In its current state is a five part modular deck where 50 cards are lands and ramp spells like mana rocks. And then these other 15 card piles are a mono white, mono blue, mono red, mono gold. I, I've gold fished it, but this will be the world debut, debut of the of mono, Narset, brown. mono brown. There's no creatures in any of these modules. You should only see lands and spells, uh, non-creature spells. No infinite combos, no jeweled lotus or any other fast mana. She can come out as soon as turn three if I ramp hard enough. You know, I just a two mana ramp and, and stuff like that. Uh, and then, you know, she is hexproof, of course, but like expect to see a bunch of random large art uh, uh, artifacts. Yeah. I hate your deck. 
Yeah. Let's roll to see who goes first. These are really cool dice. Cha cha cha. Three, uh, one. Oh, roll, off. roll off. Oh, hold on. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes. <laughs> oh, oh you cool. got it. You got it. Hey, at least I'm second. You know, I'll be right behind you. Don't break eye contact. <laughs> Take it away, Ray. Are we all ready? Draw for turn. Play a Verdant Catacombs. It's real. I'll tap it, crack it, sack it, go look for something. Pass the turn. I will also draw for turn. I will play a Polluted Delta. Tap it, crack it. Polluted duty. Sack it. Get the Underground Sea. I'll go get Woodland. Get the Underground Sea. You just sang an octave. <laughs> No, I wouldn't encourage me to say. Well, I can tap this for black, and I can cast a dark ritual. Oh, that's hot. Adding three black to my mana pool. So I think one of the options will be go heading and casting a blood artist. It's an black. 01 vampire that says whenever blood artist or another creature dies, target, target player, player loses, loses one life and you gain one life. I will use the other one black to vampiric tutor. Wow, jeez. Oh. I'll lose two life, and I'll pass. Drop or turn. Command tower pass. Draw for a turn. I will play a sacred foundry. Let it come in tapped, and I'll pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, pray. Play a command tower for turn. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. Oh my god. There's a chance that I'm actually just getting a soul ring. Hey, it's a good play. Unless I just get tempted, you know. I've been tempted by the ring many times. Well, chill, chill, those are real. <laughs> so then this, <laughs> this goes here. So I untap. Yeah. yeah. Hurry up, guy. I'm we, with it. We got things I'm with to it. do. I'm with it. Okay. <laughs> that comes in tapped. You can so pay. I'm gonna pay one to play a soul ring. <laughs> I will pass the turn. <laughs> Untap of Yidra! Play a Cascade Bluffs, which is a blue-red filter land, and pay two for a Boros Signet, and pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play a mountain from my land, and I will tap these two. Cast Lesions Initiative. It's an enchantment. Red creatures I control get plus one, plus zero. White creatures I control get a plus zero, plus one. And if I play a mountain in a plains, I can exile Lesions Initiative. Exile all creatures I control. At the beginning of the next combat, return those creatures to the battlefield under their owner's control, and those creatures gain haste until end of turn. Very cool. Board right protection? Yes. Look at the fairy's protection. Good yeah. to know. And then I'll pass my turn. Hell yeah. On tap, upkeep, draw. Play a forest for a turn. <laughs> I'll pay three. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> There's no reason. For black, for black, for... Casting Academy Manufacturer? No. I'm gonna go look for a card. Take three life? <laughs> yes. Switch my library for a card, put that card in my hand, then shuffle. Oh, I'll yeah. lose three. After I go find whatever it is, I will pass the turn then. All right, untap. <laughs> draw for turn. I will play a land for turn. Good job. I'm gonna tap the soul ring to tap and crack the myriad land. Get you some main phase tapped ring. I'm gonna get baby. two basic land that share land type, put them on the battlefield, tapped, and shuffle your library. You better right, wake up! Swamp. <laughs> Ship it. Untap up, keep draw. I, like my friend Mike, enjoy a land with a freaking sweet effect on it, even if it comes in a play tap. So I'll tap three yep. for a Mirage Mirror. It's an artifact that has the activated ability to generic mana. Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that happens, I pass. Um, tap, upkeep, draw. Especially I'm gonna play a Swamp. Got a Swamp. I'm gonna tap swamp three, and I'm That's going actual. to <laughs> cast Aggravated Assault, sure. another enchantment. I can play three generic and two mountains, and I untap all creatures you control. After this main phase, there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Pass so, my turn. Yeah. To me? Yeah. To uh, you? It's your turn. Uh, okay, draw. Son of a biznatch. Forced? As my land for turn. I'll tap generic, <laughs> generic, black green. I'll play Guillaume, so Master that's... Chef. 5-3 Trample. The beginning of my end step, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of non-token creatures I had enter the battlefield under my control this turn. Pay one generic, sacrifice a food, target creature gains indestructible until end of turn, and then tap it. Then move to my end step. Hold on. Oh. That was a mistake. Oh, sorry. We gotta go to priority, but I want you to read it though. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so that's cast. Yeah. You, you'll be able to cast it eventually. I'm just slowing <gasps> it down. No way. I'm just slowing it down. No shot. I'm tapping into this to bit two blue, and I'm going to mana drain, counter target spell, the beginning of your next main phase, add an amount of- Colorless mana. Colorless equal to this mana's value. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, you did tutor for something, so just delays your game a little bit. I don't want to hear it. So I untap. Not ability yet. Resolve. Not yet. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast <laughs> my commander at Kells. Fight Fixer. Menace. Still have so I'll go to two. Yep. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay Demir, blue, black. If you do, draw a card, and I can pay into it to make her indestructible. So now I'm going to use another two colorless and a soul ring. Three of it is going to go to... An altar. Phyrexian. I've heard of that card. Sacrifice a creature, add one mana of any color. Then I'm going to tap one black. Use the colorless. Cast Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Ooh. Sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice creatures. You add two black and draw a card. Way to be efficient and use a ton of mana. Everyone hates you. <laughs> I pass the turn. Untap up, keep draw. Seize me, drop an Adarkar Wastes, which can tap for colorless or tap and ping me to make a white or blue. You maybe read the whole card and then you count it. I, I think that's I, what hurts the most. That's well, 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 and the, audience, well, you, the <laughs> audience can't know that I'm getting ready to call. I gotta like, you know, build to that moment. Yeah, Facts. I know. And they'd be like, hold on, artifacts. Four mana for a Vidalcan Ori. Artifact, you may cast non-land cards as though they had flash and I cast. On top, upkeep, draw. I drew, yeah. unfortunately I didn't get a land. No! no! That was so good. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a great start. And yeah. Oh, like, mana screw is the oh, W-O-R-S-T. Yeah. That's what happens with Kalia, though, Worst. sometimes. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> Are you passing then? Yeah, I have to pass, so yeah. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play Blooming Marsh tapped because I already controlled two or more other lands. I'm gonna pay three. <laughs> I'm gonna play Academy Manufacturer. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. I had this feeling. One three assembly worker. If I would create a clue or a food or a treasure, instead create one of each. Go ahead. Untap. Let's see what I do next turn. Draw for turn. <laughs> I'm going to hit Sky for a four or three menace. I respect that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep that so I can use the ability if I want. I take it as a loving gesture. I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, untap upkeep draw. My land per turn, needle spires. Path. Untap upkeep this draw. This is the one. It wasn't the one. <laughs> oh no, poor Chrissy. Mulliganing, maybe he should have yeah. mulliganed. It was like great, and if you're having I mean, three lands lander and a two hand, like, and a three rules. drop, yeah. like yeah. and yeah. a two and a three. Like, it's just unlucky. So I have to pass my turn. Draw, land for turn. I will tap one and a black, and I'll play demonic tutor. So I'll go look for something. All, All right, in response to your demonic tutor. I did nothing. I was ready. Amazing. I was ready that time. I was, that was ready that time. Because you counter the what you tutor for. You don't counter the tutor. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. Hey man, you're in this. You're still in this. You, you, you just tutor. Everybody hold on. And you have academy <laughs> manufacturer and you tutor for that. You you're better win machine. this turn. Now that I do, this is it. This is it, Mr. boys. Tutor, tutor, Ray. tutor. You can do this. You go Ray. Go Ray. Go Ray. Go Ray. Go Ray. Everybody go loves Ray. Ray. The Ray Mitch. Everybody loves Raymond. Ray. <laughs> Everybody loves Ray. Pay three. I will play Nadir's Nightblade. One three elf. Whenever a token I control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses one life, and I gain one life. Aristocrat. I will pass priority. I do not care. Mana crypt. Ew. 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 Is that real? HP inkjet. Tight, tight. <laughs> <laughs> a buddy HP hooked me up. Yeah, the boy HP. Uh, seems good. I Me and him at the back of Staples sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I had a tutor for that. Tap the mana crypt, play a talisman of resilience. Ew. I will pass the turn. In response to passing your turn. Okay. I'm ready. I will turn. tap. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I will untap. And go to <laughs> Oh, I was <laughs> ready. <laughs> mana burn. <laughs> you die. <laughs> <laughs> Draw my turn. Protect Soul Ring for two and a swamp, and I'm gonna cast Weapon Craft Enthusiast, which has Fabricate. When it enters the battlefield, I can put two plus one counters on it, or I can create two one one servo artifact creature tokens. So sick. I'm gonna choose to do the servos. This Vidalcan Ori is a proxy. Not and you're only, over here. <laughs> not only is it a proxy, it's a super janky one where I screen grab and so it's not the right size, and it's got the X from looking at the image. Like, look at the X on it. <laughs> Because it's just that's a Google egg. image search. So what you're saying is I'm the only one without proxy. I think Chrissy has the high road here. So I can go to attacks. I will go ahead and hit you for four. Good. Love that. Take it. Second <laughs> main phase. I'm gonna tap the priest of forgotten gods. 
I'm gonna sacrifice these two tokens that just came into play. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature, you add two black and draw a card. Then this will also trigger. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay and I can draw a card. Okay. And this will also trigger that we'll see two creatures dying. So I'll be able to send another two damage and one life at something. Cool, you stack those triggers, so tell us in what order to resolve those. So I am going to activate Kells and pay the cool. hybrid mana. Draw your card. Draw the card for that. Yep. I'll hit you for two sky. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> Dude, I, I always feel so tall with this guy. Two black floating and I draw a card. So each of you lose two life. Okay. Isn't it target I, I can oh, shoot, so right. these three will lose two life. I'm taking it, I did it for you guys. But they have no creatures. I sacrificed Nettier's Nightblade. Big sad. Does Blood Artist see my Nightblade die? Yes. Oh. I'll do another one damage to Sky and I'll get a life. Thanks man. <laughs> it's so <laughs> helpful. And you're so helpful. helpful. You point it out and he's like, oh sure, thanks Sky. You can take the damage. So sure. I'm gonna use one of these black floating mana to tap into Sunken Ruins okay. to give me blue black. And I'm gonna cast Balefell Strix. Tight. Which is the flyer death touch when it enters the battlefield. I draw Draw a card. So does this resolve? Do I draw a card? Yep. Okay, I draw a card. The, the black I have floating, the black, and I'm gonna cast a blood ghast. It's a vampire spirit, 2 1. It has haste as long as your opponent has 10 or less life, which none of you do. It has landfall, so whenever land enters the battlefield under my control, I may return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. Card's gas. It's blood gas. I can sack it to Frexian Altar, giving myself one black mana and it hits the graveyard. Since it's a mana ability, I can use the black to pay into whenever you sack a creature, you may pay hybrid if you do draw a card. So I'll use that to pay into the ability. Blood Arts will trigger, they will do one to you, and I gain a life. I will play a Reliquary Tower, which will trigger Blood Guest, which will come back to the battlefield because of the landfall. Relax, bro. How's it turn? The passies of the turnsies. Respond to that pass by paying two mana, tapping Sack and Myriad Landscape to go fetch two basic lands of the same type. We've known each other for so long. Untap and draw. Yep. Main phase, I can drop a glacial fortress that comes in untapped because I control planes. And then I pass. Get a land. Oh, get a land. Get, get a land. Get a land. Get get a land. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Finally. Jeez. Is it a land? Yes. Okay. Asking for a friend. It, <laughs> Asking for <laughs> Isolated chapel does not enter the battlefield tap because I control a swamp. Guess what, guys? I'm going to tap that. Board. Tap that. Um, and then I'm going to attempt to cast Kalia. You first, you're passing. I'm passing. I'm passing. All right. <laughs> she Thanks. here, she here, that's she ready really, to party. That's, that's really kind Woo! of you all. Kalia of the Vast, legendary creature, human cleric. 2-2, two, two, flying. Whenever Kalio the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking that opponent. I'll have my revenge if I have to call on every force from above and below. Oh, we got the, the flavor 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 flavor. Flavor. Respect it. Respect is going around. Yeah. This and this, and he's gonna be getting a lot, trust me. The chef can poison your food. I passed my turn. Better not. Okay, <laughs> untap, upkeep, mana crypt roll, Skylar odds or evens. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads, you're dead? You're wrong, you were wrong. Take the damage. Three damage. So it was Hale's dead, because he see one at Hale's oh, to protect God. yourself. Yeah. Draw for turn. It's like walking into the theater, having no idea what's going on. I Big will Lebowski. play my filter land, Twilight Mire. This is why you don't with a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not saying the full line. Big for Lebowski, the, For the kids, for the kids. Tap the force to filter into Twilight Mire for double black. I will tap the command tower also for black, and I'll play Foreboding Fruit. It's a sword street, it says target player draws two cards and loses two life, and if at least three black mana was spent to cast a spell, create a food. So I'll draw two cards, I will lose two life, and I will make a food. Which makes one of each. Academy Manufacturer sees the food come in, and he says, have them all. And I say thanks, man. That is redonkulous. Uh, I should just in response sack three creatures and kill this Academy Manufacturer before they entered. Tapping for one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh boy. Attempting to, to let Guillaume hit the field one time. One time. One time play Guillaume. Uh, Guillaume, I read it twice, never again. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I think I can read it to you from memory now. Okay. I already forgot it. You think just uh, one, more, one last time? Go home the master. Okay. <laughs> I will move to my end step. I had one creature enter the battlefield this turn. I make one food token, but I make one of each. Boom. May I borrow some small yes, dice? Yes, you can. Oh, uh, bro, that's so cool. Because we use those red dice for like cool stuff. Three okay. different. Yeah. yeah. I just like how big these are. I know. But it's not about the size. I appreciate it. That was my end step, so I'm all done. You are. Untap. 
I think you've had your fun though with any academy manufacturer, don't you? Are you you've gonna... had your Ooh. fun. Lynch wow. cast player <laughs> removal. <laughs> so it was a, good a sign of respect, Lynch. It was a good time. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna cast Shriek Maw. Fear. When Shriek Maw enters the battlefield, destroy a target non-black creature. Non-artifact, non-black creature. Go oh. ahead. Go ahead. Take that hot sauce shot. Choose your target. Pink Vaxi. <laughs> Nothing <be> messed up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that card you is can't do anything. Do you really have to do another game. shot? Bro, how you and you doing? can't even target her, she's black. I have no targets. Yeah, dude. So do you want a 3-2 fear or do you want a shot of hot sauce? I will live with my mistake <laughs> my of God. casting a Shriek Maw. I was so and... gassed for you and then you played Shriek Maw and said he doesn't know. <laughs> That's why you have to read yeah. the card. There are too many words in the, world. Reading. in the world. Yeah, too many. I'm yeah. gonna swing at Sky before. Response to your attack or before blocks, I'm gonna pay white, red, blue, and three more to cast Narset Enlightened Master at flash speed due to Vidalcan Ori. She here. That is a reminder, three, two, first strike hexproof. When she attacks, bad stuff happens off the top of the library. I actually didn't read that before, so I'll read it. If you don't know Narset, which lucky you haven't had to play against this card, besides what I already said, six mana, three, two, first strike hexproof, legendary creature, human monk, bad. Biatch. She has, whenever Narset Enlightened Master attacks, exile the top four cards of your library until the end of turn. You may cast non-creature cards exiled with Narset this turn without paying their mana costs. And I'll pay two to activate Mirage Mirror, targeting Guillaume, okay? Because I can pay two to make this a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Guillaume and Narset are now on the board. Can I go to blocks? In response, yep. before you declare blocks, while you were responding to my responding Your to hand. shit, I'm gonna tap Priest of the Forgotten Gods. I'm going to sacrifice two creatures, it will be Weapon, Craft Enthusiast, and Blood Ghast. Okay, okay. I then have the ability with this to pay two hybrid, which I will do. I'll pay into this to give me two black, yep. to pay this twice. Two instances, yeah. So draw two cards. Yep. Then I'll get two black floating and draw a card. Blood Artist also And I'll that. get two triggers yep. and- So and let's do these before this happens. So I draw- that that. This goes on the stack. This is next on the stack. I'll the hit Chrissy for two. Some yeah. schoolyard <laughs> shenanigan right yeah. there. Double two black. black. Those happen and I draw no a other card. trigger. That ability now resolves. Oh, I gain two life too. Yep. You're draw a card. Oh well, and you, I think, probably need to pick targets before that even resolves, which any number of target players. Okay. This is a decision, this is a fork in the road here, Mike. Because like, I'm gonna say bad words. But... In general, I think you owe your wife, like, 110% of your devotion, Everything. kindness, love, <laughs> and, and most of all, appreciation that this is an opportunity to change the course of next turn, potentially her dropping, you know, to any number of mana value, angels, demons, and or dragons, or a better line of play if she has yeah. one better than that. If you leave one of my poor thick boys alone, I will potentially do something to stop Kalia from attacking next turn. First of I all, agree you, guys, with you, there. you guys have to sacrifice somebody. You I do, and it. whoever else you choose does. Yeah, who else? Right, but I'm, you're I'm, still I'm, choosing that, and we're trying to politic you. I'm so scared of both of you. <laughs> thing is, I, smart, I, this happy is what this wife, deck does. I think I might life. be able to deal with her again. So okay. I'm not okay. worried about it. Okay. Let me, and then you're gonna have to just deal with the real threat that's gonna happen with Sky. Oh, it's sacrifice you. Did you guys each lose two lives? With the sack, yeah. Yeah, you I gotta lose, lose two lives. Two. Can someone, no, I haven't done yet. You... Deet, deet, got you. Okay. Sorry, so I can't me. block because this has menace, so I'll take four commander damage. Yes. Beep, boop, bop, beep. I will play a strip mine. I pass the turn. Woo! Untap, upkeep, prop. Then I'm gonna spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. El Bruce, la espada vinculante, que dice, artefacto legendario equipo. La criatura equipada obtiene más uno, más zero. Cuando la criatura equipada haga daño de combate a un jugador, desenaxa a El Bruce, la espada vinculante, y luego transformala. E equipar para un. Which in English is a legendary artifact equipment that says, equipped creature gains plus one, plus zero, and when Equipped creature does combat damage to a player. Exile Elbrus. Elbrus the Binding Blade. I spent seven mana on Elbrus. Elbrus. Yep. The bl the Binding Blade. Muchas gracias. It resolves. I'm going to pay one to equip it to Narset. I'll go to combat. I will declare attacks pointed at you, my my bro. Jeez. My bro. No hard feelings. Just trying to get her through. You know, for, for yeah, I don't think either one of them would have lied, but yes. I know, I don't think either. I'm just trying to know. 
if the creature deals combat damage, then the equipment transforms it does. immediately. Yeah, that player, happens, but that, that triggers, the, yes, to a player. Must be combat damage to a player. That's the only requirement, and then it turns into a 13-13 GG. I'm going to block. God damn it! Dude. You're not gonna turn that <laughs> into thought, a fucking 13-13. Yeah, I am considering <laughs> taking a hot sauce shot. Do no. it. To attack Chrissy. Yes. Because that's a tougher decision, no. and like, I'm trying to get a demon out. Give but, me some fucking hot sauce, dude. I wanna put Chrissy <laughs> yes. on the spot here. I'm, I wanna take back that attack. Hell yeah. What do you I, say, fam? I say yes. <laughs> oh, I'm much on board. I say no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, really? Look, Chrissy, I love you, but like I'm trying to see you. my deck do stuff. What do, what do you say? Okay, I go to combat. I'll be able to possibly make him sack. I attack my dear, 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 dear friend Chrissy. I'll make him sack Attack one trigger time. before you even decide, by the way. Um, Narset's ability is triggered. I exile the top four cards of my library. The <laughs> first time in my life, it's a, it's the whiffless, no land uh, <laughs> exile. These spells are all exiled. I can cast them without paying the mana cost. So blocks, Chrissy? Don't block. I actually think there's a way that I can get rid of his, his board state. If you want to really not risk call yet, I think I can possibly help if you choose not to block and he gets a 13-13. I can deal with the 13-13 if you're worried about it. All right. It's just it dies to removal, so. Okay, Elbris ability triggers. That's a 13-13 Flample Intimidate with whenever a, a player loses the game, put 13 plus one plus one counters on this bad baby. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, so that happens, unless there's any effects. That sounds sick, dude. I have these cards in exile that I can cast without paying my mana cost. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Doesn't really matter the order here, so I'll go with a Guardian Idol is a artifact that enters the battlefield tapped. It can tap to add colorless mana and mana pool, and you can pay two to make it become a two-two golem artifact creature until end of turn. I'm now going to cast Helm of the Host. Four mana legendary artifact equipment with, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except the token isn't legendary if equipped creature is legendary. That token gains haste and equip five. Next. Stryonic Resonator is a two-mana artifact with two tap. Copy target triggered ability you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Stryonic Resonator with two tap. Copy target cr triggered ability you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. And the fourth spell is Tezzeret's Gatebreaker, a four-mana artifact that says when Tezzeret's Gatebreaker enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a blue or artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on bottom of your library in a random order. And you can pay five in a blue tap. Sack it. Creatures you control can't be blocked this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and resolve that. Look at the top five. I can reveal an artifact. Yeah, which is definitely gonna be Mystic Forge. Gotcha. So you're, One you're, mana, you're, untapped. Yeah. A 1313 Spanish speaking <laughs> flampily demon. Yeah. And uh, instant speed, whatever I want. Yeah. I passed turn, good luck, fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, and draw. So moving into combat, and I'm going to swing Kalia. Ray. Yep. It and then I'm sense. gonna drop Angelic Guardian. It's a 5-5 five, five flying. Is Whenever also one or more creatures you control attack, they gain indestructible until end of turn. Cool, so we've passed attack triggers, so that won't happen, but you do yeah. have a 5-5 five, five flying that's and attacking. That's, and do you get to choose who it's attacking? No, or you both go attacking that player. Yeah. Cool. Human cleric, but has wings. Yeah. No, I passed my turn. Heck yeah. Untap. Oh wait, they call it as a plus one, plus one, take, so she's a three, three, I so you get one more. more. Untap. You gotta roll the crypt. Like you have the coin or is he rolling? What do you call him that you're safe? Heads is safe. Dragon. Heads is safe. Good you're job, safe. buddy. Whew. All right, yeah, well, it's your okay. little life. I guess that's important. It is, I'm a little bit sweaty. <laughs> I'll tap three. I'll play Jahira, friend of the forest. Tokens I control have tap at a green. Oh my God, that's not, it's creature tokens, background. that's tokens? Let's tokens. A background. Have oh my god, so you yeah. just have six yep. available now. Come on, Bray. I've had three, yeah, I'm ready. Tap for you. all these for six green floating. <laughs> Your stack. Oh my gosh, shut the front door. I know, here we are. Shut Go the front Ray. door. Oh. Lands I control have tap, create a treasure. This gosh. is why. I know, no, so no, that's why I wasn't. He <laughs> can tap five lands making five treasures which don't have summoning sickness and don't have to sack, can tap for green, so he's still going. I will tap go. four. Forget. Never forget. I'm tapping four. Creating four treasure tokens. Uh, four of each. I, I knew you were coming, so um, I brought 
you a cake in my microwave. <laughs> Song I knew you were coming, bake you a cake in my microwave. <laughs> okay. You gotta be old and know about the microwave. I don't son. actually know that. It was like a kid, yeah, kid oven like that you could do to make you your own food. So it was like safe Cute. for kids. It was like your microwave. I used to make brownies in it. You could like mix it, make it, and you put it through the little machine. This shows how old we are. We <laughs> want the microwave, well, son. I'm also 35 and old. I appreciate you all. Oh, thank you for being here. Uh, Michael. I will tap my command tower, yep. making black. I will play Disciple of the Vault. It reads, whenever an artifact is put in the graveyard from play, I may have target opponent lose one life. You got a, so much possibilities right now. I will tap the mana crypt for two colorless. I will then crack one treasure. I have that now floating. It's a, for black. Artifact is put in the graveyard from play. I'll have you lose a life from Disciple of the Vault. Yeah, that's it. I had two colorless and the black floating so that I can cast Defiant Salvage. It is a 2-2 Aetherborn Artificer. It says, second artifact or creature, put a plus one plus one counter on Defiant Salvager. Activate this ability only anytime I can cast a sorcerer. But he can do it as many times as he wants. I will tap, and the reason these are in two different flip, I'll tap four more. So six clues are now tapped. Tapping four for four green floating. Tap the four food. You're just tapping and sacking? No, oh, okay. I'm just moving them from the untapped Thank you. Sorry. tokens to Thank the giver. Yeah. Mind. So now yeah. I have, I'm gonna do four of the clues and three of the foods. So it's seven green mana floating. Seven green mana floating, sack a treasure for one black mana. Sack trigger, disciple of the vault. So this is what I have floating. I just sack the treasure to make black. Disciple of the vault sees the treasure sack. I'm gonna ping you for one. Because Because I can, you can't. We'll recast for the third time. <laughs> Yo, Master Chef. Yeah! yeah! Oh god, I love that you paid nine mana and it wasn't Eight. some other yeah. devastating thing. It's no. just your Well, leader. that's pretty devastating. Yeah. Blood Boy, did mana. you pop off. I will move to end step. Yo will see the number of creature number of food tokens equal to the number of non-token creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. So that's what he gets. So one, two, three, four. Those all came out this turn? Yes. I'll make four foods, but I'll make four of each. Four foods. So now I'm up to five untapped foods, six untapped treasures, four untapped clues. Resolve my end step. These are untapped. These are untapped. Good job. You <laughs> still disgusting. remain to be a threatening player. <laughs> so I'm gonna untap and draw everyone. I'm gonna pay two for the soul ring. I'll tap the swamp to tap the sunken ruins to give me two blue. Two blue floating and two colorless floating. I'm gonna use two colorless and one of the blue to cast a Chasm Skulker. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus one counter on Chasm Skulker. Chasm Skulker dies, put X11 one, one blue squid tokens with Islands Walk onto the battlefield where X is the number of plus one counters on Chasm Skulker. It it's a one, one. a squid horror one one. Then I'm gonna use one from Reliquary Tower, the one blue and one black. And I'm gonna cast Ophi Mouncer. It's a human shaman two two. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you don't control a snake, create a 1-1 one, one black creature token with that touch. That's a lot of fodder. Are as you going to swing that over there? Yes, if you don't force me to, I will attack him with both creatures. If I don't. If you don't force me to sack a creature this turn, I will promise to not attack you on my next turn. I'm done with are that. We, are we cool or? You guys can touch pinkies if you want to. All right, I don't, I don't know will, if it means anything, but it feels, it feels nice. Yeah. I will pass my turn with that. I'll begin my turn. Upkeep and drawing. To pay one, two, three, four, five to equip Helm of the Host to Narset. That happens, okay. Two Wombats. Okay, so you're moving to combat. I think so. I have a response. Sack one treasure, disciple the vault trigger, lose a life. I will then sacrifice a food, disciple the vault trigger, lose a life. How to what? I will do that to Guillaume's ability. Because you floated a mana. Yep. And what is your target? You I'm targeting the this the demon. Spanish speaking. Yeah. So now it's tapping 13, into Shark Yeah. Yeah. I'm at 19. I go to combat. Helm of the host triggers. You have two narsets. What's better than one narset? Here she comes, baby. Here she's like, look, guys, I yeah. made a fun narset. Yeah. I'm trying to make it fun again. Now I have two of them. What I can do. I'm having fun. This is Narset, but a non-legendary copy. Helm of the Host says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except that token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. Well, just because that's so scary, having two Narsets. I'm not scared. Why are you scared? I'm scared. I'm on the stack, I'll yeah. activate Priest of the Forgotten Gods. You have to sack two creatures to activate that. Correct. I will sack. Both of these creatures Best. to activate now, it. Now this triggers an ability when it dies, no? Yeah, I'll pay one to pay into this ability, so when I sack, I get to draw a card. I draw one card here, and one card here, and I get two black. But, but Helm of the Host ability on the stack. Correct. You are gonna activate Priest of the Forgotten Gods, sacking two creatures and tapping this. Correct. Okay, these creatures die, 
and that uh, triggers some stuff. So these will go ahead and die. That triggers. I pay this so that I can also draw a guard for okay. a, a creature being sacrificed. And it's gonna trigger Blood Artist, but we'll go ahead and resolve that first trigger. You pay the mana, draw. I draw. Okay, now Blood Artist triggers. You said you can gain life, right? I mean, I could crack foods. Yeah, you'll gain life, so I'll hit you, okay. and I'll gain one. Okay, because he's gonna, he's gonna gain life. Mike's sitting at 43, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Then I get two black. Now this resolves. You get two black mana. And I draw a card. Draw a card, and any number of target players sacrifice a creature. So I will choose you. And? And I will choose you. And Dan? And I will choose you. So I'll just choose all three of you. I have an action before I choose. Okay, so oh, this is still on the stack. This hasn't been created yet. We all have to sacrifice, sacrifice a creature. And lose two life. And, and lose, two, lose life. two life. I have a response, which is to tap two to turn Guardian Idol into a 2-2 two, two golem until end of turn. And now I will select this as my creature to sack. In response, I'm gonna tap two. Yep, exile that. And I'm gonna exile. Legion's initiative. They exile, and at the beginning of the next combat, I return those cards to the battlefield under my control, yeah. and they have haste. So you can pick them up, and next time you get a yep. chance to attack, they'll come down and, and have haste. I was gonna put them right there. I will sacrifice Jahira. That's sad for you. I don't, it is sad. I mean, I need all three. But. Okay, so now I get my two black mana. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Hey, you guys have all lost two life? No, I did. I lose two life. I sack Guardian Idol. That, then you get the mana, and anything else before Two triggers from Blood Artist from Guy Sacking. I'll do one and one, and I'll gain two. Okay. Now, as long as this ability is on the stack, I am realizing that I can Strionic Resonator it. So I'm going to pay two and tap this, targeting this ability? I've been holding this as a proxy for that effect on the stack. I believe it's still on the stack. I believe I can still target it. Yep, so you just copy it and do it again. So this will happen twice. Yeah, it's because that will do two times. If any other actions, this ability is now two. Two of these on the stack. Any other effects? Let me know before I lose this mana. Okay. Did you get a snake? Oh, I had an upkeep. Each upkeep. Yep. Yeah, you get one snake. Okay. So. so we missed a trigger, but Lynch is getting his snake that would have been produced in my upkeep. So you have that. Cool. But I forgot, yeah. I thought it was my upkeep for some reason. That's okay. Bad at magic, y'all. If you want to sack that instead of one of those creatures, all you have to do is take a hot sauce shot. Because I would have definitely sacked the snake yeah, instead of the keep, chasm. Keep, the keep that chasm skull curl alive. Yeah, that's, that's a... So I would have sacked this instead. I'm pouring it! So give me the shot. So, yeah. but this would trigger because because I would have I drew two cards. From this and this, yeah, get this two plus then one get two plus one counters on it. We're good. Cool, so you drew that. I already drew them, I already that. drew them. Yep. Cool. We're, good. We're, just, we're just doing the take back of me realizing because we forgot that we had cool. a token, but now we'll remember. Now I think we're ready for Helm of the Host ability to resolve. Yep, I think so, go ahead. Yeah. And there are two Narsets here with haste, okay, and not yeah. legendary. So I'm gonna assign attackers. These three Narsets are going to be assigned to attack you. They are all three, two, on attack, on attack, they all pop off. Trigger. These four talisman of creati creativity, monkey cage, uh, land, hey, and empowered otter generator, come out here for that. These four: Pre Phyrexian portal, Felwar stone, Argentum armor, and a land that will remain in exile, come out for that. And these four: see a lich's mirror, an oracle's vault, and two lands that will remain in exile. I will go to blocks block each of the Narsets with Gyom, a Cattery Manufacturer, and Defiant Salvager. Oops. Those are the blocks I'm doing. Do you have anything in response to me choosing who I'm blocking with? Nah. I will then... Indestructible. I want to do it. I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will then sack three treasures. Read you like a book. I know, damn it. Three triggers happen for Disciple, lose three life. Sack three food. One, two, three, lose three life. Bye. I have to do that for Guillaume's ability. I have to pay one and sack food. I sack three treasures and three food. So I lose three more? Yep. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Bang. These three target creatures will gain indestructible until end of turn. Solid. They become tapped. Block, they indestructible, and then I'm tapped. tapped, but they've already blocked. Yep. So, so I'm down to 10, and my creatures are blocked. But, but I'm indestructible, and yeah. so is Defiant Salvager. Okay. So I think two Narsets die. <laughs> We're going to say that's okay, okay. Oh, okay. because they get hit. Yeah, they got hit. They, they hit do me. fair strike damage, but two indestructible creatures. With that all happening, I'm gonna go ahead and cast this Talisman for free. 
this auto generator for free, this Felwar stone for free, Oracle's vault, Phyrexian portal for free, and Lich's mirror for free. I'm also dropping Monkey K. That now having resolved, I hold priority and use two mana here. Tap to exile the top card of my library until the end of turn, you may play that card and put a brick count. So this is exiled and I may play it this turn. That's floating exile, I'll put it right here for right now, play it in a sec, but yeah, I can't do anything else about those blocks. You're gonna kill one of these copies and the main BZ herself. So Narsa goes back here. This is like no longer equipped to nothing. So here's my Redonculus board around here. This is here. Uh, my play map. Sorry. Oh, oh hey. she said stay off my spicy. map, yeah. son. <laughs> Respect the rules. <laughs> so. like, I don't know what turn this is, but I only got four lands and I ain't happy about it. Get off my match because I, mean, I don't yeah. have a lot of lands like you. Look at, board, look, at look at your board, look at her board. Look at his board, look at her board. Super fair. Look at my board, look at her board. I know my turn's been long. So, second main, I can play this land off of Oracle's Vault. I no. lose my floating mana like we discussed earlier. I am passy. Um, upkeep, draw. On your upkeep, I create a snake. Yeah, you do. Let's not forget that again. Good job. Monkey case, sugar, you'll make one. Oh crap, I make none. Oh, cause there's no CMC. It has no mana value. Yeah, so man oh, monkey wow. cage will see it and- That's a real piece of trash. Go Is back. that a May? Nope. You can't stop Creature it. Creature ETBs, sack this, and make zero tutus. So, tight. Artifact left the battlefield, disciple trigger, lose a life. What? It's any artifact. Ah. <laughs> Uh, You're missing another land drop? Know. Poor thingy. Eh, it happens. It does. Okay. It's very wise of you. Moving into combat. This brings Kalia and Angelic Guardian back. Woo! Okay. They have haste. They have haste. I am going to swing Angelic Guardian at Mike. I love that. And then I'm going to swing Kalia of the Vest at Skylar. And at that time, I will drop Master of Cruelties. Trigger. Kalia can drop a Master of Cruelties, a five mana one four demon with first strike and death touch that says it can only attack alone, which is bypassed by the way that Kalia. it was just put yeah. in attacking. And it says whenever Master of Cruelties attacks a player and isn't blocked, that player's life total becomes one. Master of Cruelties assigns no combat damage this combat. This so it's put blocked. in attacking, and then when I declare no blocks, yeah. then it takes my life one. total becomes one. And then with, Kalia with the wine, I have two more kills. Okay. I'm not gonna block because I don't want to lose my creature and she her guys have indestructible, so I'm gonna take five and I have plenty of life. One, two, three, four. So now Kalia deals damage at the same time you lose, Lich's mirror will pop. Lich's mirror is, is triggered. If you would lose the game instead, shuffle your hand, your graveyard, and all permanents you own. Into <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> I own a lot of permanent. He was like, yeah, here comes all the Are you surviving this? Then what? draw seven. Yeah, you can my land. So I'm starting over. I'm going to start over. With and 20 of Then draw seven cards and your life total becomes 20. 20? All permanence tokens go away. Elbrus becomes Elbrus. Wow. Uh, that's my graveyard. Goes to remove from yeah. the game. Okay, this is her. My turn. hand goes. You're all sorcery speed now. You're back to sorcery speed. Oh, yeah, speed. and have so zero good. mana <laughs> and zero you have permanence. Second, you have second main. Are you doing anything with your mana? I can do something else. Do, do it. it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to pass my turn. Whoa. Okay, so you're drawing 20 cards. But you're no, draw seven. 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 I can't talk. It's late. It's really late, guys. Really We're late. having fun. This is magic. It's what magic about. Late fun Yeah, days. have you ever played Commander and it doesn't go until like Dude, 3 a.m.? Dude, magic like, is part yeah. of the Commander. You go real late and you make some mistakes, but you're having fun. I'm alive! Late. I can sack my snake <laughs> at her end step <laughs> okay. to so Frexion Altar, making one black mana. Because it's a mana ability, I can pay that into the Kel Fighter to draw a card. So okay. I draw a card. One life lost to Chrissy, mm -hmm. and I gain one life. And you draw a card. You draw, this ticks up. To three. Now your upkeep. Untap. Everything untaps. I'm <laughs> moving these over because now they're all untapped for the people who are gonna yell at me. Six foods, four treasures. Yeah, On I'm your upkeep, I am gonna create a snake though, by the way, brother. Upkeep, heads, I don't take damage. Come on, heads, I don't take damage. One time, for the kids. You did it one time. I got it two times. I'm gonna try my best to do what I said I was gonna do. 10 clues, four treasures, six food. So 20 Disciple of the Vault triggers will happen. I'll have you lose 20 life. Um, I will, <laughs> I'm was. i sacrificing these all to Defiant Salvager, so, so I'll put- he's a 20. He's a 22, 22. Here's the 20 oh. counters. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's so big and you can attack with them? Yarp. I wonder if I have to respond before those those go You have so many blockers. You have so there. many chunk blockers. What so is long, before these, before these get added to it, but you did. You sacked he, it. He'd actually. You act, he, you, 
you'd actually have to activate it one time at a time. Like one, like you don't get to do 20 all at once. Yeah. You activate it, stack the thing to the thing. Yeah, are, are you gonna respond before I do any of them or on the last one or like in the middle? Well, here's the problem. Okay. If I do respond. It's killing me a priority now that I. I made a deal. With her, with not with me. Which means you made my... a deal. Yeah, or I could go, go right, go. I'm gonna. Go right, go. Sacrifice 10, 11. I'm gonna put okay. 11 plus one plus encounters on this guy. Yeah, 11 triggers disciple on you. I'm at okay. nine. In response, okay. I'm gonna sa sack the snake to Frexion Altar, creating a black, using that to pay into that ability so I can draw a card. And if Blood Artist Trigger will happen, I will have you lose a life, I'll gain a life. Raw card, and I get Trigged it, because so that goes to four. I'll sack the Chasm Skulker to that to create a black mana. Okay. So I'm gonna get four, one one squid tokens. Yeah, the island walk. That'll off happen the after these happen, because as soon as it dies, quite okay. have these yet. You have these triggers. Do you want to address okay. them? Yeah. So I'm not gonna pay into this okay. because I need to use this mana for something else. Okay. I'll have you lose one life, and I'll gain a life. Okay. Now the four one ones. I'm gonna use this black to tragic slip so that he gets minus 13, oh, minus 13. Oh, wow. Because a creature died this turn. I almost did that to yours, by the way. Do you know how many times I almost pulled the gun? On whom? Your 13, 13 flyer you oh had Oh my earlier. gosh, that'd be so perfect. I was ready for it. Do you have a response? I can't do anything. I have I'm a response. Sorry. I will pay one green and I'll play Avoid Fate. Counter target instant or aura spell that targets a permanent eye control. Wow, dude, you run this? A green counter spell? Hell yeah. Oh my god. Good work. This is since turn one. Been waiting forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you do counter it. I'm going to do it one at a time. I mean, I had to try to point it at him. I had to try to sacrifice. Take this up. Yeah, no, fuck it. I will do it one at a time, and I will kill Skylar so that I can say I killed someone. I must ask you a question. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Even if I sack everything, <laughs> he's like, then both of them can say they killed you. Yeah. <laughs> You lost twice. And he's gonna win for sure. You think so? I still may have a turn. Hey, this Disciple of the Vault Trigger is gonna hit him. When? You. Right now? Yeah, every time I stack my center effect. Well, are you killing him first? No. Okay, so what? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating this up. Okay. I will do it again. I will go down to three foods. I'll go to 13. It, yep, I'm sacrificing these and things. This mm -hmm. triggers. I'm tra targeting you again. Sacrifice the treasure. Three. Dink, a dink. He gets bigger. Disciple trigger. Okay. Yep, always. Yeah, you. I'm gonna do again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Boom. Side with trigger. Wrong? Go what to you. Could I do? So I'm gonna there? I'm gonna sack these four to Phyrexian Altar. So I'll sack one at a time. I'll do four damage to you. Going to three. I will first I can do one man. at a time, right? So yeah, one at a time. I'll do one. Yep. Now who loses life? I already gave the life to him. Okay. I already took the life. This will be two. Two. I already did him. I did four to him. Oh, okay. oh wait, whoa, let me give you a, ch give me a chance to... Okay. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. We should whoa. walk it back. You if you're gonna make me do one at a time, brother friend. don't all happen friend. at the same time. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Oh. I'm gonna sack one to go to three. Okay. To Frexion Altar. Okay, you get a black mana. a black mana. And these trigger. And those trigger. Do you wanna draw? I'm gonna pay one. Use that, draw. To draw. draw. Blood Artist. And... Okay, in response to... This trigger that. being on the stack. Yep. I'll tap six lands for bootlegger stash, making six treasures and make six of each. But I can still then respond. Well, those are activated they're abilities. They're activating ability, yeah, so I can still respond so, before it comes in. So, uh, honestly, you have to do those one at a time. Well. Because they're activated abilities, not mana abilities. Hey, so, I could, so I can respond before those come into play, You right, can respond to the first one being tapped. Tap a land. It is one per Yeah, because land. they're activated abilities, not mana abilities. Okay. This is giving the lands activated So then abilities. I'll sack another one. In response, so I don't even get the treasure token yet. In response, yeah, I don't get the treasure token yeah, yet. Yeah, it's trying to come in. And then I'm going... That triggers these two. I get a mana ability. And you're going to use it to draw? I'll use it to draw. And drain one. Does that resolve? It is. Or are you tapping another land? I will Eat. sack two treasures. You lose two life. I will... So, but I can, in response to you sacking those yep. treasures, sack... One. This ability's on the stack. Now, two of these are on the stack, and this is on the stack. And you have a black mana. I'm gonna use to draw. Okay. And then are you responding? We have three <laughs> triggers ready. Good lord. What? Of okay. what? what of, is of the blood. The, he has no, let there's me do, two of there's these. There's two. On the I already stack. took the first one. Oh, you took the first one. No, that'd be done. Okay, now there's and then one I would the be up here. Now there's one instance of this on the stack. Dude, no, I had four all. of these. I know, but Mike, I've been keeping close track of every one of these no, abilities. No, but not on life. I know. Okay. And there were two instances of this ability on the stack. Yes. Yep. You've just resolved one of them. Yep. So there's one more instance of this ability on the stack. Yeah. 
Doesn't mind resolve after so that. that I would have one, but I had. What do you I have? Hunt. I had four of these. I right? know, Mike. That was ages so ago, and I've one. been keeping. Yes. There is, now that you've done that, there is one instance of this drain on the stack and what of yours on the stack? Cracking treasures. Well, that's a mana ability, so it doesn't use the stack. E that's what, so, I'm, so I have mana floating. No, but then there's a trigger on the yeah. response here. Cracking so the treasures puts these triggers trigger. on the stack. Yeah. And then I'm putting another trigger on the stack when I cracked another one of these to do another, a, a, a second one. That's what I'm saying, there's two. There are two Blood Artist triggers on the stack, Yep. which let's go ahead and resolve. Yes. Let's go ahead and resolve those. I assume they're going at him. Yes. Okay. Bing, bing, bang, bang. Is the stack clear? Well, because I cracked treasures. Yes, so there's three so of these. Two, right. two sorry. And then, yeah, it's Correct. me cracking two treasures Correct. for two mana. That happened as and a mana ability. Triggering. Now these yeah. are sitting on the stack. So, so then I'm, I'm going, going lose my down mind. to like... So is Chrissy. Yes. <laughs> so I have two mana floating. Yeah, it doesn't matter of what colors. Yay! Oh my god, there's nothing on the stack. Okay, go ahead. Use the treasures to crack a food disciple trigger. Well, that triggered in the stack. I'll sack this, draw a card, do another damage to you. Okay, I will take one damage. You I will, gain one life. You will draw one card. One card. Now that that resolves, Disciple resolves. This is gone. And the food's ability is on the stack. Yeah, exactly. Like life. He drains for the one, and then I gain three life. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Magic is easy. I'm good. Whose turn is it? Yours. Okay. I literally have no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. gotta be yours because yeah. I think no, you're yeah, still yeah, yeah, doing yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's your turn. It's your yeah. turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in his first main. Yep. I will then now one, two, three, four, five instances. I'll make five of each. Five clues, five treasures, and seven food. Wow. Sacrifice five treasures, floating five mana. One creating a green okay. disciple trigger, lose a life. Okay. I will do it again. Floating another mana. Thank you. Disciple trigger, lose a life. Okay, what color? Green. I will do it again. Three, disciple triggers coming at you, Lynch. This okay. pretty. True. I'm gonna do it again. Coming at you, trigger. I will do it again. Cracking the last one. So you did five. Five mana floating. Nice, okay. that was hot. Sacrifice, using the five mana floating, and I'll sacrifice, do four foods. You're four, doing so this ability? Yeah, I'll activate Guillaume's ability. I'll pay one of those mana, floating yep. mana. Goes to four. So four. Crack a food, lose a life, disciple trigger. I will tap Baleful Strix, making it indestructible in center. Do the exact same thing again. Goes to three treasure, that drains you for one, and a food is also sacked to this. To tap down the next creature in line. Don't worry, Mike, it's indestructible. Use the mana, sack of food. Dude, that happens, you drain. Yep, that's now tapped in indestructible. Wait. Then use one more colorless, go to boom, tap down the next one. two more colorless. Nope, oh, I'm using a colorless. The gains ability. Yep, the ump's ability. Yep, yep. Sorry. Super good, so, so I'm tapping on this sack. one. That. And disciple trigger, get pinged. Do it one more time using the last of my floating mana. Tap this, get pinged. Got you down to 35. Okay. You're tapped out. Go to combat. On my main, before I go to combat, I will sacrifice five clues, five disciple triggers, one Wait, at a time, I guess. How are you sacking them? To Defiant and Salvager. Right. One, get a plus one, plus one counter. That triggers draining? Yep. I will do it again. Two. Do it again. Trigger. Do it again. Trigger. Do it again. Trigger. Okay. Woof. 20. I'll go to combat. Five, 22, 23, 20. Wait, five? You fucking lie, right? 25, 20, is that 29? Uh, 22 plus five is 27, 28, 29. 29 at you. Can I, do I get to hold priority like that? Is that where you can, but then I can still, well, I can still respond. you're currently, instantly. I think, declaring your attacks, okay? So and then let's... in response to me doing something, he can do whatever he wants yeah. to do. Okay. So Mike blocks. I will sacrifice Talisman. I'll That's float, a, no, I'm gonna float. Okay. Yeah. Float, yeah. sack it, Okay. make it. Now it's lethal on board. This is so a now in response, I will sack my Baleful Strix, and I'll I'll hit you for one, and I will gain one life. Yep. No, you can't do it now. We declared you're right. all, you yep. can't do that. Okay. That's you're a right. sorcerer speed. Yeah, okay. you're right. We so need to go back. Sack that. Yep. Okay. That's so okay. it's only a twenty-nine. That's untapped. So hold on. 29. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this good. yet. Good. Okay. Good. Let's rewind. Yeah, you were definitely in a combat yeah. phase. Yep. You yep. cannot. Nope. <laughs> we got this. Uh, twenty-nine is coming at me right now. Yep. I will take the twenty-nine. I'll go to one. Oh my god, I love it. Yes. I'll go to second main. Second main. second main, tap two, sacrifice of food, disciple trigger on the step. Sacrifice, bail fills Drix. Yep. Drix and Alter, get a black, use it to pay to draw a card, okay. do a damage and I'll gain a life. 
and now it can resolve and he loses. First one resolves, yep. and now he'll be up again one yep. life. Yep. My food will resolve. I'll gain my three life. Yeah. And then I will, I'm just gonna add, add. sacrifice the food to Defiant Salvager. I'll sacrifice one. the food. One Disciple the Vault Trigger on the stack, waiting to deal one damage to you. Whoa! I'm gonna sack, trigger okay. this, and I'll gain a life, oh. and then you lose a life. Add. Yes, I'm at two. And now I lose one life from Disciple your, the Vault Trigger. and you're out of ways to make and me lose life. Yeah, and okay. I now I will sacrifice Talisman of Resilience mm -hmm. to Defiant Salvager. Disciple of the Vault Trigger on the stack. First. You have no, uh, no other way to currently sack anything else. I do. I have a Mana Crypt, a Bootlegger Stash, and Academy Man. I'm gonna do it three more times if you try to survive. Well, how okay. can you... They're all artifacts. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, I will go ahead and I will sack this to have you lose a life. Okay. And I gain a life. Okay. Now these resolve and you lose a life and this has another token. Okay. Count. One floating blue mana. I will sacrifice bootlegger stash and do the exact same thing. I will sack Alfie Mancer to this to get one black. Goes up to two and then raise triggers resolve and you go to one and, and this is He goes twin. down. I'm gonna sacrifice mana crypt to define salvager. Disciple trigger on the stack. Oh, I have to just sack blood crypt to itself then. All right, I'll set blood artist to itself and I'll do one damage Into to you. Into life, you drain. Mm -hmm. and, and I now, get and another get black. That's blue. Uh, so now he goes Is back it? down to one, yep. and this becomes a 23rd plus one plus one counter. I will sacrifice Academy Man. He is relentless, oh. dude. He is relentless. <laughs> I don't think there's any way. Anyway. Yeah, but that was, that was. I'm going to pay one black and one blue, leaving one blue left, and look at the top five. Oh my god, he cast Lindell's Vault. Let's go. Can I read this card? Yep. Lindell's Vault is an instant that says, look at the top five cards in your library. As many times as you choose, you may pay one life. Which uh, I can't do. <laughs> put those cards at the bottom of your library, then look at the top five cards in your library, then shuffle your library, and put the last card you looked at this way on top of All right, it. so I'll put, that, I'll put that on top. Wait, you have to pay a life to do that, no? No, to put them to the bottom. If you want to go to the bottom, choose another and five. I, I, I could do that as much as I want to do. Yeah. But I will in response, yeah. I'm going to tap my strip mine and I'm going to blow up, uh, we'll see which your land of yours is the best to blow up. Probably Command Tower. It's gonna be I'll, blow up your, yeah. I'll blow up your Command Tower. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yo. Ah! Just let Yo. it happen, brother. No, nope, that's it. I can't wait for my turn. Holy shit. All right, so I die. Mike dies! Yay! Wow. Chrissy, this guy, kill them both. Dead. She's going to easily, I think. So are you in the past because you're done? Yeah. Go, go ahead. Do your ghost speak. You go. die, you I go. go. Untap draw. Yeah, you were in this game. Yeah, well, don't forget because I'm playing a tap land. Passing. Nice. Your turn. Untap. You, you know, you... Upkeep. <laughs> Pick no, up I your saw. shit. You're dead. Oh, look, guys, I got a plant. Hey! hey. Double combat! You are so combat. dead! You're so dead! Double combat! Double combat! Double combat! Double combat! Oh. Avenge my death, my love! I, 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 have no, I have no that hand. That secures your first victory. That is yeah. your first Moving victory, and I hate your death. No, no <laughs> hand, no cards. He has no more nothing. than one. You have double combat. It's gonna... over. Fuck. <laughs> Swing everything at Ray. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Triggers. Angelic Arbiter. Attacking, incredible. What did it say? Creature, angel, flying. Each creature who casts a spell this turn can attack with creature. Each opponent who attacked with a creature this turn can't cast spells. Awesome. Okay. Five, Love six. stacks, it's five, six. Oh they, my God. They're all coming in hot, I have no blocks. Uh, there is actually one more trigger on the stack, which is this one. Yeah, they're all indestructible. Cool. Hell yeah. Ba, 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 so then, you pay. I'm paying five into my aggravated enchant. assault. Untap your read creatures. It. Yeah, read it, read it. Aggravated assault. Untap my creatures. You control after this main phase. There's an additional combat phase followed by the additional main phase. Activate this ability only time you can cast sorcery. Yep. Untap. Pick up your cards because you're dead. He wants your board clean because his board had to be clean. Uh, I'm getting second and place I'll combat. Class. I'm gonna send everything in Sky. So I will drop, I'm gonna drop Hellkite Charger. Okay, I'm dead. All right. <laughs> what does that say? It's just another. It is, I see five, five. Creature so dragon, like, flying haste. So whenever it. Hellkite Charger that's attacks, I may pay I'm five dead. generic. Two mountains. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh! Yeah. So you basically just dropped a five-five flying with haste. Yeah. That you could pay to do the more combat steps, but you don't even need. Doesn't matter because I already have seven. And you already I was did at it. Nine. 
Thanks, Ryan. Hey, you still hey. popped off hard as hell, man. You did. I'm calling that a you win. You did all the work. I feel you, you really did all the you work, did. and I just yeah. came and finished it. Yeah. So yeah. our little basically sacrificed our little pinky. all of your resources to take Lynch you out. Really did. And you. You did. And me. Yeah. 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 You killed two <laughs> strong boards. Yeah. Well, she killed you first. And then I had to kill you she again. Did. And yeah. then you came back, and then he got you low. You had to get to 11. For her to kill you again. Anyone could have killed me after Lich's Mirror. Yeah. I had no permanence. That was pretty crazy. No permanence. Dude, the fact that you cast your I think I was like, I'm running out of artifacts. I, I was, was about to cast Armageddon. And and you really Adam were, and you got so blinded by it that you got killed with angels, demons, and dragons. Oh yeah. my. I was like, oh. It's okay, you did work. Yo, you did how was it work. to be back on the show? It, it's good. And to Finally pull in a win. big old W, congrats. Big I haven't won either, so. You deserve it. <laughs> big dub. Well, you know, at first we were also worried about you because you were so mana screwed, which I think again is part of command. Yeah, it was like, probably you feel like, bad it if happens. Gets, yeah, yeah when you see man. people it's that just... are struggling too much, it is like it's good sportsmanship. You know, like I, I almost tragically slipped mm. your 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 academy mm. manufacturer so many times. I would have avoided fading. I was ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, for that green? That it, green. it was in my hand. It was only hand. Yeah, oh yeah. man, I was so I was ready. Like, I double dog. I had that. I had. I was like, oh, 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 because both of you guys are doing stupid stuff. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, I had a great time. That was super was really fun. fun. I'm going home thinking I won this game. Yeah, I'm, having, I'm smiling. I'm He's like, I killed Lynch. I finally. did the thing. <laughs> I did. I could not have done any more. I wasn't. I didn't feel like I misplayed. I feel like I threw everything. It was I had. cool to see your deck do more than just no, bootlegger stash. All like the work. doing you really all the damage. All well, yeah, that's there was a bunch of times I wanted to kill your dude. <laughs> Uh, many times. The one time when I misplayed is when I, I sacked a creature and I drew a card versus I, was, I, mean, I should have sacked and did the tragic slip on his 13 13. He didn't, he did all and then he would have had to sack the uh, other dude, mm -hmm. the Narset. Yep. So I totally miss. Miss sequence, which is part of magic. You learn when you make your, your changes. Yep. Thank you guys for coming again, being on the show. Hey, good job good killing games. me. Yeah, good I'm, good I'm glad to good die game, in the deck. Good, good game, Ray. I, good I game, told you I wanted to see this deck back because I knew it was still a really good deck. Yeah. And we didn't get to see its full potential because it scared us so much. And it's proved to be scary. It killed me. Yeah. I'm glad that you came back. I'm yeah. glad we were Yay. able to find a babysitter I and you know. were able to actually like be here. Chrissy it's Bass. really hard when you have a, a kid during the, the COVID, post COVID, whatever this is, pandemic, getting babysitters that can watch your kid all day. Oh. I hate your deck every other Friday. Yeah. Tell them, Ray. Uh, you know? What am I saying? Ah! <laughs> See us every other Friday. That's it. I hate your deck every Woo! Friday. I hate, I hate your deck. I hate your deck. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. I Hate Your Deck would like to thank our sponsor, No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now and it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. Hey, it's time for the random Patreon shoutouts. I like the Jonah 08, Warren Rogers, and Caleb Arnold. Thanks, guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now, we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you, patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So, thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast, tapping out and slinging spells. Wizards of the West Coast. Wizards of the West Coast, I hit your deck.